Time for another viewer request and in this video I'm going to teach you a fingerstyle arrangement I've made especially for you guys and girls of a personal favorite of mine, Dream a Little Dream. Now first I'm going to play it for you and then we're going to break it down lick by lick slowly I'm going to explain everything with tabs right down here on the screen so without further ado let's begin and let me play it for you before we begin learning. Okay, so what's going on here? This is in C. You, we've got the intro, the A part, the B part, and uh, we've got some variations within each and every one of them. We'll go through everything. So, the intro begins like this. Okay, it's C. Okay, with a high G, with the pinky. And then B7, then D minor 7, sus4, again the high G with the pinky, and then G6, okay it's just G with an open E string. So C, B7, D minor 7, sus4. G6, then C again, okay, open E string, high G, A, and then this, which is C sharp diminished, it's this chord, only a different voicing, that's all. Okay, again the A and the G, 5 and 3, so, and then, what is this, this, it's just, it's D minor 7 again, and the reason I'm doing it with the pinky and the third string is because I want the first finger to be free to do this, the high G again. Okay, and then there's a flow between the notes. Okay. So again. Okay, again, with the third finger and the pinky. High G. Then G13, which is just three on the bass. 3 on the D string, 4 below it, actually above it, below it physically, above it musically, pinky on the B string, on the 5, okay, G13, and this gets us into the C, which is the A part, 
begins the A part. So again. simple just C then B7 you only need these two okay the A string and the G string because this is the line just on the B string 0 1 0 and then G string again now First time around I do this, second time around I do this, okay, which is both are um, variations on A flat going to G flat, just A flat 7 going to G, f G7, or A flat um, sh f flat 9 okay this is 9 this is add 9 so this is A flat add flat 9 names of chords don't matter the only thing that matters is the sound the music okay don't put too much emphasis on chord names okay this is the line so it's either Or you can skip this and just do this. Works just fine. Okay, this this note is important. The the, the C note. So you've got options. Okay? Do what sounds good to you. And then again, C and B7. Now comes A7. I like to slide into it. You can choose not to. You can do... Okay, but I like to slide into it. So, A7. Pinky on three on the third string, then I bar the entire A chord because I want this. Okay, and if I do, then I need to leave the A chord, and I don't want to. I want it to keep ringing just a little more, so. Okay, so. Okay, chromatic movement into the chromatic descension into the F chord. So again, A7. F. Now we're playing with the 6. This is F6. So we're playing with the 6. Okay, pretty simple. Pinky on, pinky off, pinky on, pinky off. Just like Karate Kid only with a guitar. A guitar playing kid. And then you just take the major note off, make it a minor, and do the same thing. Almost the same thing. Okay? Keep the bass note go the bass notes going. Okay? The melody is Okay, it's within the F and F minor chords. And then C again. Pretty simple. Then the, f the first ending is just A flat 7 to G7. And then 
and you begin again. Okay. By the way, the um, the um, bass line between G and C is always this. Just it's the same from La Bamba and from every other country song. Just G A B C. Okay. You can choose not to play it. Uh, you don't have to. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Okay. This is the first ending. And the second ending is just A flat 7, G7, C. Okay, so. Um, and second ending. It's C, then E, because we're moving into the B part. So. First ending, second ending. Okay? Now, B part. This is just A. This is high A. A. And then you bar the entire second fret for the F sharp minor 7. And you add and subtract the high A. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. It's pentatonic. Now, B minor without the bar. It's B minor um, 11. Add sus4, doesn't matter what you call it, okay, B minor 11, so, um, open E string, okay, um, and this is the melody line, now the chord itself, the harmony changes into E, So you play the E bass. Pretty simple. Okay? B minor. E. Okay, and then A and F sharp minor again. E. This is E augmented. It's like F only on the fifth fret and down one string. Up physically, down musically. Okay? Just make sure you're not playing the E string. Okay? Because then it's a different chord altogether. It's augmented, add something. And you don't want that, you want augmented. Okay? And then again, the first line. Okay, remember the E bass. And then A, A flat 7, or just A flat. Okay, because I'm not sure we're playing the 7 here. We can. Um, and then um, a wink to the intro. It's G, add the ninth, high A, D minor seven, G six. So flat, G, D minor 7, G6. Then you play the A part again and the intro again and you finish on this chord. 
okay? This is C major 7, sus 2, add 13. Why? Because you've got the major 7, sus 2, 6. And in complex chord, you don't call it the 6th, you call it the 13th because it's an octave above the sixth or even two octaves above it doesn't matter don't mind the theory don't mind this chord name just play it it's nice or don't play it you can just finish on C okay so you can finish on C or on C major 7 sus 2 add 13 blah 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 by the way sometimes I like to do this okay um, just move from a flat um, a flat uh, flat 13 to G 13 a flat flat 13 is um, 4 on it's just like a flat 7, you just add the pinky on the B string on 5. Okay, and then you move everything back, everything except the pinky, back one uh, fret. And it's G13. Okay, so you can do that. Okay, got it? So. My fingers hurt, so I'm glad we finished this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Go get it under your fingers, but before you do, subscribe to my channel to keep updated with all the new lessons. I upload a new lesson every day.